Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Time video production. This is one of my wee favourite buzzers. I don't fish buzzers too often, but this is a kind of buzzer that I like to use quite a lot. It's a go to for me. I'm tying it on a straight hook. So, what we've got is we've got a B175, that's on a 10, Kamasan again. We're going to be tying it with some, you can use whatever olive thread you like, but I, I like the, the colour on the uni thread olive, and it's 8 0. It's a, it's a nice olive colour. We're going to use some, it's up to yourself what you use, but I'm using a thread here. So it's a different shade of olive to the, the main thread, but it's also a 210, so it's quite a thick one. But I'm using it almost like a floss. And then I'm going to use some large UTC Mirage Opal. So you can do it with a UV one, but I'm going to do it with that one. Then I'm going to need some uh, Sunburst Orange Goose Bites. So I need them as well. First of all, what we're going to do, I'm going to just quickly tie this in. So we're going to go right down the hook shank. So you can tie this on a curved hook as well, but this is on a straight. I'm going to trim that off. Now what I've done is I've taken four strands of this 210 thread off the, 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 the bobbin and I've fo folded well I've taken one piece off but I've folded it four times so I've basically got four times the thickness so you can see it's a different shade so as you can use whatever colour you want you can chop and change you could use flexi floss if you wanted but I like actually doing it with just normal thread slash floss rather than the rubbery stuff. I've just taken my time going back up here so I'm trying not to get any bumps because we would need to fill them in. Right, then we'll go back down. Right, so that's how it's basically went down once, back up and dip back down. So we're going to go back up again and taking care to try and make everything nice and level. Right, we'll go right up to the eye of the hook. And then we'll come back down. We'll come back down a bit there. So we're, we're a wee bit off the, there. So what we want to do with this is we want to twist it. So I'm just twisting it. So I'm going to use that as my rib. Basically I've got a nice rib there now. You can see it. Okay. Really nice. Nice shape as well. Then we're going to just tie that in. Trim that off. Put that to the side because I'm going to use that for the, the next one. Then I'm going to get a large, especially on a size 10, you're going to need the, the large UTC. Just make sure it's sitting in the middle. Pull it back a little bit so it's not right against the eye. And just tie that down. Take the thread right back to, to the last piece of rib that you've done and run the thread back and forward. And you're going to do this, some people like a really really big fat head on their buzzer, some people like a thinner head. So we're just going to keep going. And we'll just keep building it up. You could, if you really wanted, swap to a 6 thread here, just for building the head up. I don't see the point. So that's good enough, right? So you can see that there. Then what we'll do is we'll get our bites. So we're wanting two goose bites. They're obviously concaved, so you can see one points one way and one points the other way. So just nip off the tips, and obviously we tie them in so that they're. they're Coming out, 
the way from the thread but we tie them in by the tip ok catch that in and we'll just tighten down on it right then we're just going to build up and keep going now we've got a thread near the eye we'll pull it first by it forward so I always do the one closest to me five or six turns then pull right but at that point I'm going to do a wet finish because I don't want that by it coming loose two turns is sufficient right and then with this one I'm going to pull this one forward as well and repeat two three four five pull and then I'll work finish. Right. Now the last thing we want to do is just slightly stretch that and tie it in so that's your thorax cover. Then pull it back and clip it nice and tight. Now just build up a little head. Tidying it up as we go. And we're at finish. And trim. Now, the last thing we want to do is obviously we want to varnish the fly. I like to varnish it. You could resin it if you want, but I do like to just varnish it. So, what I'm going to do is just give it a quick coat. The fly does come alive once you put the varnish on. The varnish I'm using, I do, I do have it in stock. I just don't have it on my website just yet. Uh, it's very similar to Sally Hansen's, hard as nails, but it's a lot cheaper. It's like two pound fifty a bottle. I will try and get it on the website when I get a minute. And that's it. So basically, it's just a, a little olive buzzer, but it's a cracking shape. And when you use a thread in that way, it, it, I don't know, it, you've got to actually see it to understand where I'm coming from. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of the vise, stick it in a bit of foam, and I'm going to stick one in that I've already varnished. Just so you can see. Now that's two coats of varnish that's on that one. You could put three coats on, put four, it's really a good choice. But that's one of my go-to buzzers, that's it. I try to keep them simple, try not to overcomplicate them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, as always, if you want to follow me, you can get me on Facebook, David C. Downey, Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing, Guiding Sites, www.davedownfishing.com, and my online shop, www.fly-fishingworld.com. Thanks for watching another Dave Downey video production, and I hope it's beneficial when you're going to catch fish on it. Tight lines, guys. Bye.